Welcome to Vlogmas Day. I almost said day two. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I took Leo for a walk and had breakfast and everything. And right now I'm about to do emails on my computer. If you don't follow me on TikTok, then you wouldn't have seen that I got this case. And then I also have a matching phone case. I am obsessed with this print. Like, it is so beautiful. I love it so much. If you're interested in purchasing, these items are from Berga Official. And I will have my discount code linked down in the description box or somewhere on the screen. You can get 15 percent off using this code right here today is really exciting because i have a master class with armani beauty and it's my first master class so i'm super excited they are doing a zoom meeting and they invited me and they sent over a pr package that i will show you guys um later and basically they're gonna do a little makeup master class with some makeup artists and i'm gonna join in and i'm super excited about it so i thought i would do a little behind the scenes of that it's a tuesday so i have the day off usually on tuesday Tuesdays, so I'm gonna do some brand and replies and all that stuff on here and then I will keep you updated I just posted a TikTok and I am about to make some lunch so I wanted to make some soup real quick. Caesar's gonna stop by for lunch. So I thought it would be good to have some soup for both of us. So it's gonna be like a really quick thing. I literally just started <laughs> making soup this winter or fall, I guess. Like I think I've only made it like three or four times. We're both pretty lazy when it comes to cooking. Like I'd rather be editing and stuff like that than like cook for myself. <laughs> join the master class i have like five minutes so i want to show you what they sent over and i believe we're gonna do our like makeup on here so their most recent package that they sent me came in this bag and it's truly probably the best beer packaging i have ever gotten super fancy little bag so i thought i would show you since we have a few more minutes so this came in the bag and it is just so fancy looking um it's a beautiful little box and it was really heavy and then if you open it again you have the fancy little giorgio armani on there so in here this is what it came with and i still have the plastic on here but it came with the little card and then in here we have a bunch of new products which i'm so excited to try this is the one that i think i'm supposed to be using for this so we have the little mirror right there and then over here we have um, some products so i believe this is one of their eyeshadows i think this let me see what this is this is a bronzer or highlighter, I think. More eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows. We have this one right here, which is Aid um, Glow Enhancer. We have their mascara, their foundation, and concealer. I love these so much. And then over here, we have one of their blushes and some of their lip products right here. This is the Armani Beauty Holiday Masterclass. So I will show you guys some behind the scenes and I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. I think an hour. Hello everybody. So we're live from New York City. Welcome to our Holiday Masterclass with George Armani. My name is Samuel Rivera, Regional Face Designer for Armani in New York City. And today I have 
the honor to share the screen with the one and only celebrity makeup artist, Carolina Gonzalez. Carolina, it's such an amazing partner to our brand. She creates looks for Kate Hudson, Cami Mendez, and many, many, many more other celebrities. Thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you for the beautiful <laughs> introduction somewhere. gather round for it's christmas time a merry sound and the stars align let us all rejoice when it's christmas time and our hope again made new in the crowded streets calling christmas time the ones we meet wear their warmest smile and from far away, we hear bells that chime Stating Santa won't be late And deep in our hearts We will carry a song Heard through the ages From angels on high Christmas light bring a special glow on a special Okay, we finished the class. This is the makeup look that I ended up with that I attempted based on what they were sharing. It was really cool. It was my first like Armani virtual event. I've seen like I think a couple friends do it before. They just sent over an invite over all my email. Um, they sent me like a couple products before and I've made some content for them. I'm by no means like a makeup artist pro or anything like I feel like I'm always learning based on just watching my friends who do their makeup over on TikTok and stuff. I like really don't know much about makeup. I just kind of like put things on my face and hope that it turns out nice. And as you guys see, I keep it very like natural, neutral makeup looks. So this was just very out of my comfort zone and it was just really cool because she showed a lot of little tricks um, like adding concealer on the edge and inner and around the nose and around the lips right here which I thought was cool because I don't really do that and then using a brush for the lips which I thought was really cool to blend down and then adding blush so like little tricks like that I thought it was really really cool so I recorded a little bit behind the scenes hope you enjoyed that and then I also recorded a little bit for TikTok so my makeup is pretty much done I am going to fix my hair right now because it's still wet from when I washed it and I just braided it so it's a little wavy. I talked to you guys before about the 7 Seconds Detangler by Unite. I've been using this a lot lately, like every single time I'm coming out of the shower now. I just have been really been liking it. It also says it's a leave-in conditioner, so I guess it's both a detangler and leave-in conditioner. So far, I'm really, really liking this like more, I think, than my last one that I've been using for years. For heat protectant spray, I always use the same one. Literally, I don't have like a favorite one, so I would love to know if you have any recommendations for a heat protectant spray this is the one that i use by uai it's gonna dry out my hair and i wanted it to be wavy so that's why i braided it a little bit but now i just i just want to dry it so i'm gonna dry it real quick okay the hair has been blow dried it's always just hassle i mean i can't even complain my hair is like natural i know a lot of people have curly hair and stuff like i don't know how i would be able to do it to be honest like credit to all of you that have like curly hair and stuff like just like having this much of hair and my hair has gone pretty long like right here just having this much of hair and like having to blow dry it wash it and style it which is basically just blow drying it pretty much but like just doing all that is a lot and a lot of the times i don't want to do it <laughs> but i keep telling myself like it's okay because you want to grow it out and you want to have it super long i think i've said this like thousands of times but i'm gonna donate my hair again so that's why i'm also growing it all out and trying to really have it really long this time like to my butt long um super long and then you know cutting it and donating it and then i'll figure out how i'm gonna style it from there because i just love having long hair but at the same time it's a lot of work so just always go back and forth about what i should do we're gonna give leo vlogmas day three treat 
right here and it looks like it's probably the same thing but they're cute little stars instead which is really cute okay sir focus yes here you go mm. you like it yes he's like just give me both already and wait okay i thought since i already have my makeup done i might as well get some filming done i have a lot of editing i need to do still but i will do it after i film so i've laid out like six or five outfits that i have in mind to do some tiktoks and i'll probably post it on instagram and also do like youtube shorts but i wanted to do some like holiday inspired outfits like super casual but also a little bit more dressed up so that's what I'm going to film. I just laid out um, a bunch of options here on my bed. So I will show you some behind the scenes. And I always film like literally directly on TikTok. So that's you right there. I just like the lighting here from this window. So I'm going to do it here and then show the outfit here. And then we'll be good to go. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I think it is like three or something, but I am about to sit my butt on the couch and start editing. I want to post a reel today for the master class because um, I want to do it like the day of, you know, and I haven't posted a reel yet today. And yeah, I'm probably also going to post a YouTube short <laughs> video. But yeah, I got a lot of filming. I did. I think I did like five or six outfits today, um, which is all I want to do. I don't want to do the whole 30 um, outfit ideas at the moment. I think I'll start like a new 30 outfit ideas next year. But yeah, I do want to also have to edit some paid collabs that I filmed recently that you guys saw. Um, I think in my last video and my first vlogmas, I need to edit those. I love my days where I am home <laughs> because I can do some content. Um, I love just having my days off like tuesday especially because like i can just focus on content and stuff and then by the time caesar's home like we can chill and i don't feel like bad like chilling because i've already done so much like the whole day but yeah i will keep you updated very soon <laughs> bye i thought i would show you these are the tiktoks that i made for today and i think i'm pretty much done with this one that i wanted to post okay so i'm gonna just download here i press on there and then i downloaded to post it on instagram and then finish setting up some more tiktoks for tomorrow and then we'll be good okay caesar's home we're making like a very bad version of that jacqueline hill crunch wrap thing so we don't have like the big tortillas so we're just trying to make it work um but we did get this seasoning for it and then i'm just letting it warm up a little bit and we did the beef with the cheese. Just doing that and then we're gonna watch our show. We're watching Squid Games. It is much later. I am about to take the makeup off and get ready for bed. We just took Leo for a walk. I was editing. We watched this show that we're obsessed with right now. I guess, yeah, we're both obsessed with it. I was gonna say I'm more obsessed with the Caesar, but I think we're both really into it. Um, it's called Bad Surgeon. It's really interesting because it's based in real life and it's just crazy. But uh, it's on Netflix in case you're interested in watching it. We're also watching the Squid Game Challenge, which is really, really good as well. But we're waiting for the last episode, which I think is gonna come out soon um, because we like binge watched the rest of this show. So, so good if you like, like the actual Squid Game show, then you'll like this one. It's like very dramatic and all this stuff. And it's just like based in real life, I guess. I don't know. You never know if it's real or not. And now I'm gonna do my skincare. So I thought I would show you some of the products that I've been using. But I'm going to floss and brush my teeth first. I'll show you everything that I use usually. So use this floss called Reach. 
And then for toothpaste, I've been using the Hello toothpaste for mouthwash, which I'm not very good at using mouthwash like every single night, to be honest. This needs a lot of work. But this is the Tom's, the original. I just used this one. Um, I just been trying it out for a while. And we tend to buy our things like in bulk, so I have a lot of these left to get through before I even like attempt to try another one. To take off my makeup, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration. This one I've been using for a while, and I'm actually almost done with it as you can tell. So I'm just gonna finish this one up because I have another one that's a different brand that I want to try. I feel like it still struggles a little bit with like hard eyeshadow. So I still make sure to go in with my makeup remover. It doesn't burn my eyes or anything. So so this one, for example, was struggling to come out. I guess I could have also rubbed it more. And then I'm almost done with this, but this is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. And I just use this to take off the rest of my makeup, which is usually the eyes. Okay, and that takes most of it out. And then I'm going to go in with my cleanser, which I have been obsessed. So I don't really use a lot of skin products because my skin my skin has always been like very sensitive and stuff. So I always, when it came to like using um, cleansers, I didn't really use cleansers. I used like Dove soap because it was just more natural. But recently I purchased this, which is the Peach and Lily Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser. And I love this stuff. It is amazing. I am obsessed with it. My skin loves it and it leaves my skin so clean, so nice, and it's very gentle. So I just do two pumps of this and I just massage it onto my face. I'm gonna rub this in and it feels so soft. Like it feels like an oil. So this is like so good. I love this so much. You have a clean face and I feel so much better already. I don't always add toner, but this is the toner that I do use. I have a little bit left still, um, but this is the Thayer's facial toner. Okay, then I'm going to go in with these two. These are the Ordinary products. This is the Niacinamide, and then this is the Hyaluronic Acid. So I'm just going to add both of them onto my skin. And I like to add a under eye cream. Um, again, I don't do this like every single day, but... Sometimes I'm just really lazy and I don't even want to get ready for bed. Um, but this is the Fenty Skin um, Thick and Smooth Rich Peptide Eye Cream. And I just dab a little bit under my eyes. Then I'm going in with this Depology um, Caviar Serum Stick. And this is just kind of like a product that helps prevent um, anti-aging or wrinkles and stuff. So I tend to add it on where I would get like fine lines and stuff like here and i love that this is a stick because it's just so easy to apply and lastly i'm gonna go in with my vaseline this is the yellow fresh this is like my absolute favorite one um i used to use i don't know which one the basic one i guess but this is my favorite one it just feels and smells so good because it has aloe vera but yeah i hope you enjoy this don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you very soon in the next vlogmas day Bye.